What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make $500 an hour removing graffiti. Before we get into that though, I want to mention if you guys are interested in starting a pressure washing business or scaling it to the next level, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. But I'm joined today with a special guest. Aaron, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself? <laughs> What's up, bro? How's it going, man? I'm glad to have you back on the channel. Glad to be here. Absolutely. So we're going to be talking about uh, graffiti removal. Can you tell us a little bit about this job that we're looking at right now? Yeah, for sure. So that was a last minute graffiti removal. I think I got the call in the afternoon at like 2 p.m. They called me and they said, we need this graffiti removed like tonight. Um, it was on a pawn shop in East Nashville, like on the front door, right? When you pull down those big gates on the front door, the metal doors, um, somebody had tagged it or did whatever they did the night before and they needed it done immediately. Absolutely. So how do you typically land these jobs? They usually, you know, contact you through uh, Google My Business or what? Sure. Yeah. So they, they usually find me Google My Business. I really, I rank really well in Nashville for graffiti removal. Um, the unique thing about graffiti removal is it's it's one of those niche services that is high profit, obviously, because there's a time constraint. Usually when people call you, they really want it done immediately. Um, as you can notice, in most cities that do have graffiti, there's a ton of it, right? So it's obviously not pissing anybody off enough for them to remove that stuff. So usually when it's on a place, it's either a really bad word or it's on a church <laughs> and they they cannot have uh, that look or that perception to the public. Awesome. So the jobs are kind of more so few and far between. However, if you rank properly, when they do come up, you can take advantage, right? Absolutely. Because this would be this would be considered like ASAP work. It needs to be done as soon as possible. So I'm sure, you know, we charge a premium for that, right, Aaron? It's, you know, that's the beauty of graffiti cleaning is that they never are willing to wait. So you can pretty much guarantee they're not going to be calling three companies, three estimates. It's a one and done. And if you're not just completely outrageous, which that's a spectrum and that's relative, but you're probably going to get the job. Right. So I would assume that pricing is based upon a couple different factors, but can you kind of break down how, you know, you typically do pricing with regards to graffiti removal? Sure. So I'll ask them what the graffiti is on and I'll get them to send me a photo preferably. And hopefully there's something in the photo that I can judge about how big it is, right? It's not just a wall. Hopefully there's a car or something that I can kind of get a visual on how big the thing is. And uh, obviously I base it on size and how thick it looks from that angle. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I really like to price via the phone when it comes to graffiti because I want to close it like on the spot. Um, another thing you need to take into account is what it's painted on right so if it's like concrete block and it's uh you know a yellow or even a blue pigment sometimes those are more difficult to remove uh so you really just have to take a look is it a painted block that this is painted onto which is a little easier but you're gonna have to make them aware that some of that paint that's underneath of it's gonna come off right you're not gonna be able to be selective about <laughs> which paint you remove so there's a few things that you got to take into account when they send you those photos beyond just you know spray the remover on there and then pressure wash it off you kind of touched on the process of removing it so is it a difficult task whatsoever or does the chemical do most of the work so most of the time the chemical will do most of the work you obviously want to make sure you have enough chems uh because if you run out brother you are in deep you're in hot water okay because <laughs> and if you start watering it down too much too early with your washer you get impatient and you didn't let it sit long enough it's gonna be not so fun so you really want to make sure the chem you give it time to work um follow all the directions i like to spray it on pretty thick i always like to tell them you're gonna need to repaint this wall after i'm done at least this spot and they're pretty cool you just want to make sure you cover all your bases as far as expectations 
Okay, excellent. And I'd ask you to go over the chemicals, but I know that we already went over that in local domination. So if you guys are interested in what chemicals do take off graffiti, check out the first link in the comment section in the description. Uh, Aaron, tell us about the biggest graffiti removal job that you ever had. Is there any like big ones that you can remember or has it all been kind of about this size? It's not really. I've never really had like really big graffiti, but it's always timely and it's always high ticket. So I, you know, I count things that are, are big, that, which allow me to make a decent amount of money in a short period of time. So this one was about an hour and it was 500 bucks. And they paid me immediately after I sent them photos that it was clean that night. So it was uh, it was done. Right. Awesome. And probably another benefit would be, you know, have you ever tried to upsell any of these companies or like do these companies contact you to do any more work in the future? Some of them do. But like I said, usually this is a process with a property manager on a commercial property. You know, very rarely is graffiti on residential. Very rarely. Um, so sometimes, yeah, but when you're talking about that, I mean, you could dive into that property manager and see if you can get extra work. You know, you can attempt that, but it's not something that has proven super fruitful they're pretty selective of when they call and if they need something done they will call you but other than that don't call us we'll call you and uh i'm cool with that because i rank really well so i'll get the call again perfect perfect all right man well sweet you kind of covered all the bases with regards to uh, graffiti removal um with that being said you know that we need a word of the day <laughs> word of the day <laughs> word of the day is graffiti Word of the day is graffiti. If you guys made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment down below graffiti and I will hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.